guys welcome back to another installment of counting down to christmas with me polish blissfully and in today's video i'm going to be sharing with you how i created these really cute magical unicorn nails complete with a little 3d unicorn horn and lots and lots of glitter so if you guys would be interested to see how i completed this look then just keep on watching So guys, diving into this hell of a long video, I've left everything in from my cuticle prep to my tip application and also my filing routine. So this is going to be a little bit of a long video, but I hope you guys enjoy seeing me do my sets from start to finish. So I first go in and um, sanitise the nail plate and then I dehydrate and prime with the Cuccio Pro products. And then to finish off my nail prep, I go in with a layer of Madame Glam base coat just to seal in my natural nails. And then as you can see, I have damaged my thumb so I also added an extra layer of base coat to that thumbnail just to make sure it had a little bit of protection because I jammed it in a drawer and it's a little bit bruised and sore. So now I go in with my nail tips and the tips I'm using today are the pointed almond tips by Glitter Planet UK and I'm using my Sally's nail glue to apply that. So as you can see I just pop that onto the nail and then just fiddle around with it until it's firmly pressed and then I go in with my pinching tool just to pinch in those side walls and as you can see I always glue myself to the bloody nail tip so this nail glue is super strong and I absolutely love it. So I just basically make sure I have um, pinched the whole tip so I get that tapered finish with these nail tips and then I do that with all of the nails and allow that glue to set and then I do go in with another layer of the Madame Glam base coat just to seal in my nail to those tips so I have a smooth sort of finish for my gel application later on. So now I'm going in with Ink London's Eye Gel in Pink Mask. This one I don't use too often, um, I just feel like the colour is a little bit light for me. But since I'm going to be putting gel polish on the top, I am just going in with a full cover nail on all of these. I'm only doing one coat because I am encapsulating on all of the nails and I don't want them to be too bulky. So I basically just start by applying a thin layer to the cuticle area and then slowly working that down the nail, being sure to thin in, so thin in, sorry, thin out the sidewalls so they don't get too sort of like chunky looking and then I pop that into my LED light for a full cure but since this is a really thin extension you do want to be very careful that, that it doesn't snap off at the stress area at this moment in time. And the great thing about this eye gel is it's super great at self-leveling. So once I have popped that gel into place, I merely turn my finger upside down and allow gravity to do its work and get a nice smooth application of that gel. So as you can see, it's super easy to work with and that's why I really love this lens of gel. They are really great when it comes to popping them in the light. They don't do heat spikes as much as other gels I've used and are absolutely fabulous for um, encapsulating and also building structure in your nail. And now I'm just going in and filing and buffing my nails into shape and as you can see I'm really taking my time It looks like I'm going to tan but I've sped this up But because it's such a thin enhancement I am taking my time to make sure I have filed the side walls into shape and also the tip And 
then I switch over to my nail buffer and I just go ahead and use both sides of that to file and buff the nail into shape and so I have a nice smooth surface to start working on my nail art. And here is what the nails look like once they are all filed and buffed into shape. So as you can see, they are super thin and ready for encapsulating, but they still make a really good foundation for all of the gels that I'm going to be putting on top. So now I'm just going in with a lint-free wipe and some acetone, and I'm just cleaning those nails out, removing any dust and debris, so I have a nice smooth finish for my gel application. And then I'm going in, first I'm starting with the pointer finger, so this one is a little bit different. I'm first going in with some of Sally's nail glue, and then on top of that, I'm going in with some of this Mermaid Film by Glitterati Nails. So this is a lot more thicker than your average nail encapsulating material. So it's actually suggested for acrylic. So what I did first was, as you can see, glue it onto the nail and then I held it in place with a little piece of plastic bag just so I didn't get stuck to the nail film because that is something that happens often with me. And then once I did that, I did go ahead and put a thin layer of that eye gel in clear over the top of that and then I completely buffed that nail and applied another layer of the gel and it gave me a really still a really thin enhancement but it completely covered that foil so when I went in to go and paint it later on I didn't have any issues with bumps or ridges because when I first practiced with it on my practice tip I really had um, little areas of the nail where you were able to see that there was something underneath it if it makes any sense so I find that two thin layers of the gel really worked miracles in getting that to encapsulate and finish with a smooth application. Then for the middle finger and the ring finger, I'm going in with two coats of Pro Gel Clean Linens. I love this one for underneath any of my pigments. It's a sort of off-white, definitely not a true one, but is an absolutely beautiful polish. So I do two coats on each nail, allowing each coat to dry for 30 seconds in between. And then for the pinky and the thumb, I'm going in again with two coats of Kiki London's Cake Pop, which is a really, really beautiful sort of purpley pink, and it's absolutely gorgeous. Probably not a Christmassy one but I really felt like I wanted to get away from the reds and the greens and all of those dark colours so I thought this pink would really complement the glitter that I'm using later on. And finally guys, here is a quick update of the nails once I have gone ahead and applied the base to all of the nails and again I went in with a layer of a no white top coat just to seal in my base layers. And now we move on to my favourite part, as you guys know, which is always the glitter application. So I first go in with a layer of Madame Glam base coat to the middle finger. And then I'm going in with my glitter brush and also one of the most beautiful glitters I have probably used this Christmas season. This is Winter Wonderland from the Glitter Artie Nails Advent Calendar. And it's an absolutely stunning um, multi mix of lilac, baby blue, and also little pieces of silver mylar and foil in there as well. And then it has the most beautiful quite large iridescent snowflakes so to apply them as you saw i applied the glitter onto that wet nail and then i went in with another tiny dollop of gel just to apply those slightly large snowflakes and i did one at the bottom and one at the top and then i cured that in my light for 60 seconds and then i'm applying the exact same glitter to the pinky finger and also my thumb i'm just basically doing a full cover nail and then also adding a little snowflake as well And then once again, I do pop that into my LED light for 60 seconds because you really want to make sure that that light is penetrated underneath all of that glitter into the base that we used so everything sticks to the nail. So when I go in to encapsulate later on, nothing comes off in the gel. Then for the ring finger, which is going to be the unicorn horn, I'm first starting with some of this Indigo Nails um, Glass Me Powder, which is basically their version of an Aurora powder. Just look at that. It is so pretty and I absolutely love it. I use it not as often as I probably should, but every time I use it, it honestly just makes me so happy inside to see it come to life. So then I'm going in with my unicorn horn. So I'm using the Misu 4D gel for this. It's probably one of my favourite gels for 
or 3D um, sculpture work. I love it for all different kinds of 3D nail art and I swear by this stuff. If you haven't got it and you're new to 3D nail art, definitely give this a try. It is so much easier to use and mould than acrylic because you do get the time to just get everything into shape and the way you want. So for my unicorn horn, I first start at the cuticle area and I do a slightly larger sort of um, bead of that gel and then I just mould it until it's nice and even and then I give it a sort of little loop in the bottom and then I repeat the process all the way down the nail flash curing as I go along so when I um, finish one part I don't bump into it when I'm doing the next part and the great thing about this 4D Sculptor Gel is that it's definitely more thicker than your average gel. It doesn't dry as fast as acrylic and other than um, basically poly gel I find could be a little bit too thick and can't mould as well for 3D nail art. Whereas this is a little bit thinner than poly gel, slightly more stringier so it does give you a lot more um, ability to mould it into certain shapes and you don't have to work with it over and over again if that makes any sense. So I did go ahead and cure that and I'm now going in to file off the sides so they're nice and even. Then I wipe away that sticky layer and then going in with some base coat. I just cover that horn and then I sugar over the top some of this glitter arty frozen also from the um, advent calendar and this is a really beautiful pinky blue iridescent glitter. And then that is my unicorn nail finished. I absolutely love how this turned out and it was super easy to do. And then I'm now going in with Ink London's Eye Gel and Clear and also my number 4 gel Kalinske brush and I'm just going in to encapsulate all of the nails that have the glitter on and I'm basically just going in and adding structure to the nail now. So I'm working on the apex, so most of my gel is in the middle of the nail. I, fo I form it around the cuticle area, bring it down to form the apex and then I add another bead and then just slowly drag the remainder of that gel down into the tip. And then I do pop that into my LED light for 60 seconds to fully cure that nail and then I wipe away the sticky layer. And then now I'm going in with my finished filing. So I first go in with the side walls and make sure they're nice and tapered to match the shape of the nail tip. Then I do go in and do the side walls and also the sides of the nail tip. And then I start to work on the top of the nail. First starting at the cuticle area using the round, rounded side of the nail file. Can you actually tell that it's late at night here? I cannot get my words out no matter how hard I'm trying. You guys have no idea how long I've been starting and finishing this bloody video. <laughs> so now that's what my nails look like once they are all filed and buffed into shape. Then I'm going in with my Sugar Effect Gel and a really tiny detail brush onto the pointer finger and I'm mapping out a love heart. So I do one dot at the top, follow the shape of the heart and then I map out the bottom and the sides. And then I fill in that heart and then I go ahead and just refine that heart until I'm happy with the shape. Then switching over to Kiki London's Cake Pop, I'm going to fill in the rest of that nail, being sure to avoid the middle of that heart. So I did have to do this in a couple of layers because I was using the brush to fill out the top part. But I did go ahead and use the brush of the gel polish for the bottom part. And I do cure this for 30 seconds in between each layer. And then using a tiny gel brush and some acetone, I do clean up as I go along just to make sure I haven't flooded the cuticles before I pop that into my LED light.
And then when I'm happy with the opacity of that pink gel, I do fully cure that nail. And I'm now going in with some base coat onto the middle of that heart. Then I'm going in with some Winter Wonderland, which is the same glitter we used on the rest of the nails. So I pop a tiny little amount of this into the middle. And then I use my gel brush just to clean up around the edges and any of the glitter that has got onto the pink part of the nail. And then I put a snowflake right into the middle of that heart and then I fully cured that nail. And then to make this look like a sort of 3D dome, I am going in with some Ink London's Eye Gel in Clear again and my number 4 gel brush. And I'm going to do 3 coats of this so I have a really nice 3D effect on top of that snowflake. And you also want to remember if you're doing something like this, always turn your finger upside down and allow gravity to form a really nice bubble effect into the middle of that gel. And it really saves you the time of needing to keep adding layers. So I do turn my finger upside down for a few seconds in between each layer. So to finish off this nail, I'm adding a little bit of nail art to make it a little more frozen appearance. So I am just going around and tracing out where I filled in that last heart, making that a little bit more opaque. And then at the bottom of the nail, I'm adding some tiny little icicles. And then I do go ahead and flash cure that for each layer. And I think I did about two layers before I went in and sugared the whole nail with some of that frozen glitter that we used at the very beginning of the video. And now to bring this design to life, I am going in with some mega gloss from Neo Nails and this is their gel sealer. It's an absolutely beautiful top coat to use but you could only use it on enhancements of gel or acrylic. So I am going in with a layer of this on all of the nails and to really bring that glitter to life. And just watch this um, Winter Wonderland pop to life guys. It is honestly absolutely stunning and when I was putting the top coat on you could see that I'm taking my time here because I was really like oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. It was so beautiful and it's the First time I've actually used it and I was so in love with it. And you guys know the drill, my last and final steps was to go in and wash and sanitise my hands and then I went in with my favourite hand cream and now I'm going in with some Baroness X Cuticle Oil in Peppermint and I'm applying this to all of the nails, really working that into the skin because it is winter and my fingers are so dry at the moment so I really do pay close attention to really work that into my skin and then I allow that to set. And finally guys, here is my design once everything was done and I must admit it was probably one of the easier ones that I've did this year but is absolutely my favourite. Not as Christmassy as you have seen with all of the greens and colours that are going around at the moment but I absolutely love how this one turned out and I really hope you guys enjoyed my take on these unicorn nails. So guys, that's us almost reached the end of my Countdown to Christmas series and I really hope you guys have been enjoying it so far. I have absolutely loved filming these super festive videos for you guys because I absolutely cannot wait for the man himself to arrive. This year I am so excited about Christmas coming. I don't know what it is but I've already got gifts under the tree, my tree's up, everything is twinkling and I just cannot wait for it to arrive. 
And finally, guys, that is us reached the end of these ultra sparkly Christmas nails. And I really hope you enjoyed today's video. And if you did, please give me a thumbs up. I would totally appreciate it. And if you're new to my channel, hello, my name is Kylie. I am a complete nail polish addict. And on this channel, you will find everything from nail art to swatches, reviews and the occasional haul. So if that's something that piques your interest, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And don't forget to click that notifications bell. And as always, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye!